Today we're off to get our yellow fever vaccine. Yellow fever is a disease transmitted to humans by mosquitoes and it's mostly found in Africa and South America. The vaccine isn't normally given out as part of those standard set of vaccines you get when you're a kid here in Canada, so it's typically only given out when you travel. When you get the vaccine, you should get an official certificate of vaccination to show that you've actually received it. Depending on where you've been traveling and where you're traveling to, you might be required to show your certificate of vaccination to enter a country. The vaccine isn't cheap. We're probably going to pay about $180 each for the vaccine today. We know it's a lot of money, but because the vaccine is considered so effective, and if you get yellow fever, you're at risk for organ failure and even death, we think it's worth the price. According to the CDC, the vaccine provides lifetime protection, so hopefully it's just a one-time cost. So today we're heading to the travel clinic to talk to a doctor about getting the yellow fever vaccine and to see if it's right for us. We're also going to talk to them about whatever other vaccines we might need for our next trip. So let's see how many vaccines we end up getting today, how much it's going to cost us, and how we feel afterwards. After talking to the doctor about our personal vaccine and health history, he recommended not one, not two, but three different vaccines. He also gave us a few prescriptions that I was surprised about that I'll tell you about in a minute. So here we go with the vaccines. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. We start with the Hep A vaccine going into the deltoid. There we go. Next up is typhoid and a similar spot on the arm. Mm -hmm. That one, uh, I feel just a you little bit. That, huh? Yeah. This goes in the back part of the arm and the soft tissue. And now the last one, and the one we came in for, the yellow fever vaccine. There we are. Good morning. Chris and I are both feeling pretty good with no major side effects from the vaccine. The only thing we have is a bit of a sore arm where we got the vaccine. Given where it's sore, we think it's probably from the typhoid or the hype A vaccine, not the yellow fever one. So here's what we paid for and what we received at the travel clinic. The two-person shared time slot appointment was $55 each. The Hep A vaccine, which we probably already had, but we were advised to get another one just in case, was $70. The typhoid one was $60, and the yellow fever vaccine was the most expensive at $180 each. So that's $365 for each of us, or a grand total of $730. Yes, we could have booked another flight or a really nice hotel for that price, but instead we opted for shots in the arm. In addition to the shots, we also left with the very important yellow fever certificate of vaccination, which is required for entry into some countries, as well as two prescriptions. The first prescription was for antibiotics should we ever get the ever so pleasant traveler's diarrhea. And the second one was for a seven day course of malaria medication. I was kind of surprised about this one because I thought malaria drugs came with a lot of weird side effects but the doctor told us that there was a newer malaria drug out there and he advised us to take this one while we were in the Amazon. So our trip to the vaccination travel clinic cost us $730 plus the cost to fill the prescriptions. We didn't have any of the side effects from the vaccines other than a sore arm and we got the important yellow fever certificate of vaccination. We have a ton of other things we need to do to prepare for our upcoming four months of travel. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on our next trip.